after the film, you auditioned for your school play and weren't cast. So how did you handle the rejection? And what would you say to a teen who has just experienced a similar disappointment? Um, I, no, I mean... Um, now or are you like Golden Globe? <laughs> <laughs> and? Um, no, I don't know. I mean, it, it was definitely like a very big gag at first because we did take the film to Sundance. And I mean... I hadn't even seen it, you know, at the time I was auditioning for the school play. But it was funny to, like, go to Sundance and have people talk about it like that and then go back and realize I hadn't uh, gotten a part. But... <laughs> but... <laughs> there are um, things that require very different skill sets, I believe. And it is... It was funny, you know, it's like a funny story to say I didn't get into my school play. But theater is also a very different art than acting. And it requires, you know very different, you know, specific skills. Um, so, I mean, like, the rejection wasn't, you know, I wasn't crying. Well, I was crying. But, <laughs> um, no, but it was all cool. And, and to someone else going through that, it's like, you know, you can either keep doing it because I, I'm an actress. I've been rejected so many times. Like, not even funny. Um, but, uh, you know, you st I had this in me, apparently. I was, like, literally about to quit before I made eighth grade. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it because you're going to see rejection regardless of what you do. Everywhere. You got, re Everywhere. You got yeah. rejected and you're still standing. Hooray. Yes. I mean, that's like yeah. your every poem that's ever been written. Like, congrats. Yeah. Like, really. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to be.